It's time for legs. It's time for freaking legs. Hamstring, squats, calves, as well as adductors. I gotta make sure I get adductors in my routine on a consistent basis. I am a little bit of a slacker with them and I tend to skip them, but I swear they give me a tangible fucking benefit in terms of my stability on my squats. Like I can tell, you know, if I sit down on the adductor machine for seven, eight sets at the end of legs, not even like insane like sets to failure, but just, you know, solid burn and they're active, they're strong, they've been stimulated. I can tell that when I squat, they just feel better. They just freaking feel better. So, hamstrings. The only machine at this gym, which I like for hamstrings, is the uh, seated hamstring curl, which it's all right. It's not bad. Honestly, I would only, uh, my only complaint is it's a little light. So, maybe I'll start with single leg so I can go a little bit heavier. Or maybe I'll just start with, you know, double leg and do a real slow controlled squeezing set and hit failure that way but no matter what kind of set I do I'll just make sure they're as hard as I can go and then once I feel like I'm fully pumped and stimulated then I'll move on to quads so maybe I'll throw some RDLs in there uh, I don't know I'll just kind of have to see I will just have to see now quads my uh, my training methodology methodology with quads I think I found a way that I like to hit them, or that I really like to hit them. So I used to do a single huge set of squats to start quads, and then I'd back off and do some more leg extension volume, sometimes some pendulum squat or hack squat if it's available. But I think that that was just uh, a bit of a waste of energy, you know? Like one set of squats with like, you know, up in the 500s, it fucking gasses me. It tires out my whole system, you know, and relative to the amount of stimulus I'm getting in my quads, you know, I think it's a good set, right? I'm loading my quads up to hell, but I think I'd be better off going a little lighter, still hitting failure, but with lighter weight, I'll be able to do a few more quality working sets. Because after one of those sets of squats, like, my whole system is so fatigued. Plus, my adductors get extra sore because they're not super strong. And then, you know, I'm done. I can't even squat. I couldn't even squat the same weight for uh, probably even half the reps. Which, in my mind, seemed like a good thing at the time. Right? Do a set so hard that you can't even replicate it. That sounds pretty cool. But just from kind of listening to some other... Intel plus more importantly my own actual experience doing a leg day where I start off with a couple of sets of leg extensions kind of as an introductory movement right pre pump the quads just get a lot more blood flow in the area once I move on to squats after that still even going pretty heavy they just feel much more comfortable like squatting with a pump from you know probably two ish good set of leg extensions I think that is the ticket I think that is the freaking ticket so you know, once I get in there I'll just make sure I push it hard get some kind of uh, some kind of some kind of music playing you know when you guys ask me to share my playlist I don't really necessarily have a playlist you know I've got my liked tracks on Spotify plus SoundCloud I mean Oof, across both of those, man. It's got to be up at, up in the low thousands. I'll be a thousand something songs. A very wide array of music I listen to. I mean, I'll get into some... Oh, God. Who... Oh, oh yeah. It's like Dragon Force, you know, Post Malone, Drake, Gage the Elephant. I'm trying to think of some others. I don't know. I don't even really rec... I feel like I don't even remember the bands. I kind of just listen to singles. Because now, you know, I mean, I'd say for the most part, people used to just hear new music on the radio, right? It, that situation has evolved. Now it's just I hear a song in a TikTok edit, and I say to myself, holy shit, who's this Yeet guy? You know, and then that's all I listen to for the 
you know, next few weeks. But I'm gonna go park, get in there, get warm, and we can get legs started. I'm gonna try to push it to the absolute limit. Of course, that's the fucking goal of every leg day and every lift, at least in terms of intensity. So, we'll see you in there. Okay, so, since, even if I did have an open uh, seated leg curl, you know, the stack is only so heavy, I would have to do like single leg really heavy, it kind of feels a little funky. So instead, I'm gonna start off with a light squeezing set. So you can jump onto a leg extension, flip around, and do single leg leg curls. So, I mean, super light, only what the machine says is 50 pounds, pretty high up on the stack. And, you know, I'm not trying to move around as much weight as possible. Really, I'm just trying to like hold it for a second and kind of just get as crazy of a burn as I can. You know, that's kind of the opposite spectrum of like a set where you, you know, try to do as much weight as you can for eight. Right? The opposite method would be a bit lighter and then really swings it hard. So I might just do one here, but you know, I'll see how it feels. approaching pumped I think let's do some uh, seated leg curls next I'm already reasonably fatigued you know now I'm just gonna do honestly it's pretty much the same style of set hold it for a moment when I'm strong and fresh but as I get more and more fatigued I don't mind just busting out some partials until I can barely move my feet down like more than two inches but let's just throw this around I think let's do one more like that and then let's just move on to quads i already feel fully pumped like just standing up and like totally straightening out my legs there's so much tension in my fucking hamstrings so yeah one more <sighs> hamstrings have been sufficiently stimulated let's warm up some leg extensions but then actually do the first working set of leg extensions so we just jump straight to that perfect so <clears throat> historically i wouldn't usually mind doing like a single leg set like as heavy as possible but honestly i kind of feel like i want to leverage more of the lighter squeezing sets on leg extensions first and then load the weight on squats in a little bit. That's uh, that's kind of where my mind is at with it. But again, if you do, if you want to do real slow controlled sets, or if you want to kind of throw the weight around like a fucking real gym rat, 
as long as the sets are hard and you're legit getting fatigue stimulus and a pump, then I think you are contributing to at least some muscle stimulation. And if you couple that with a big ass calorie surplus, then you're contributing to some growth. So I'm gonna sit here and try to light my quads on fire, probably do it twice and then go squat. Next set is going to be heavy single leg. Okay, now single leg heavy, not so slow control burning, more of a just kind of go crazy style set. Let's go find a squat rack. My quads feel very, let's just say prepared to throw some shit around. I really did not believe that I could do one more. And maybe that's a fucking flaw in my own mentality. But let's take a moment to recover, drop it to four plates and do one more. It's a failure. Fuck. Oh, 
Ah, oh, okay. I think I could have got that last one. I just lost my balance a little. But that was a badass set. Now, let's imagine an alternate reality where I had the safeties two feet lower than they are right now. Or, even worse, no fucking safeties at all. Just, just let that sink in. What do you think 400 big ones is gonna do to my human skull? Nothing good, right? Use your fucking safeties, man, come on. Let's do one set of leg extensions, and then we're done. Ugh. Nothing fancy, full stack run out, and should be fully pumped, so then we can go check it out. Okay, that's good. Alright, let's go check him out. No. Okay, not ideal, but all of my fucking go-to lighting spots have been taken. So let's just fucking bust it out in the open. I feel like this is so more respectful than going shirtless in the middle of a Planet Fitness. So who cares? But heavy squats done. My lower back is so fucking pumped. It's like hard to walk around. But I don't know what do they look like. Is that a set of quads? If you've ever seen one, concealed underneath of the hostile short shorts. Oh, oh my goodness! All right, I gotta fucking sit my ass down, dude. Those squats totally fucking destroyed me. So I'm gonna be here a little longer. I'm gonna go sit on the adductor machine and get some calves going. But for you. Well, let's just get in the fucking car. We can discuss the lift in further detail in there once I'm uh, recovered. Okay, now that was, uh, that was a leg day I could be proud of. I stand behind that leg day. Uh, well, for the most part. Honestly, I think that that first and last set of leg extensions... I don't think I liked it. I don't really think I liked those sets because I kind of feel like doing a set that light where I really go slow and control it, like I definitely felt some stimulation. Like in that first set at the end of it, my quads were like seriously on fire. But I kind of, I totally could have done like another 10 pretty, not like complete range of motion, but probably another 10 partials like that. I think that is kind of pushing the uh, the limit on a light squeezing set, you know, like those hamstring curls, single leg on the uh, on the leg extension. Those I felt were pretty good. I totally have the right of way. I don't know what you're doing, but those single legs, those single leg curls on the leg extension, those felt pretty good. Even though they were pretty light, I could squeeze so hard with my hamstrings that I did feel like I got pretty much. Not total failure. I could have done another couple of partials. But after I racked it, I was satisfied with the set. You know, that's, uh, un I mean, semi-related to what I'm saying now. As you progress, you know, the bar of intensity, which is going to let you say, okay, that was a good set, or, okay, that was kind of a shitty set. Why the fuck didn't I do 10 more reps? You know, that bar of intensity that you hold yourself to, that should increase over time. And that's kind of a constant battle. Uh, you know, even me with these two, that first and last set of leg extensions, I know I could have done more. So I want to do more next leg day, kind of make up for it. You know, and with that mentality of kind of progressing and improving the intensity over time, right? 
that's an upward spiral. You know, if every lift, you know, you look at the good hard sets and you say, damn right, that's how they should be done. And all your kind of, you know, maybe sets where you, know, you just happen to kind of take your foot off the gas just a touch, even if just a little bit less intense than you kind of normally like. If you notice that and you say, okay, I could have gone harder on that one, then that's just a fucking upward spiral. Your training is going to progress in its intensity. You know, Even if you don't change your movements, you do the same lifts, the same exercises, the same orders and stuff like that. If you increase the intensity every lift and each time you push yourself, I think you'll still grow. You know, if for the rest of the bulk, I were to only do like normal dumbbell curls, straight bar push downs, incline bench, lat pull downs, rows, hamstring curls, leg extensions, squats. If I were to only do one version of all of those and just pretty much have every lift be the same, but I still pushed it hard on every lift, I do think I would still make gains. But there's definitely logic and benefit to uh, you know, shocking the muscle, as it were trying new stuff, that sort of thing. So, yeah, I mean, plan now is just go back to the crib, get, uh, I don't know. I've got one ribeye left. That's a, that's what I'll fucking cook up. I'm thinking post-workout meal, going to be the rest of the chocolate milk I have in the fridge, a ribeye, pack of cheddar broccoli rice, maybe a pack of ramen, and then the rest of my Silo 9 that I've got in the hostile jug. I'll probably actually add some more just because I do not think I drank enough water that lift. I am, uh, I can tell that I feel thirsty. So, um, oh yeah, so last night, or in the last video, I issued a, holy fuck, I forgot to post the one for today. Okay, it's only six, it's fine. So, uh, no, no, in the last video, I made a little bit of a fucking challenge. I said some shit like, uh, all right, if, you, if you've got a leg day tomorrow, I challenge you to do a set of squats to failure. You know, how many of you who happened to have a leg day on that day did it? You know, if I were to make a prediction, probably not, not the majority, not the majority of you. You know, a, a set of squats to failure it's fucking hard, man. You're pushing yourself. So, you know, you can kind of reduce that, uh, let's just say, um, anxiousness and potential risk of danger by way of having a proper squat set up with your safeties at an actual responsible height. You know, it, uh, I mean, it's not like I want to tell you what to do. I'm not your dad. You can do whatever the hell you want. But... I'm just trying to share some logic, man. I mean, you're really asking for trouble. You're just asking for fucking trouble, man. Squatting with no safeties, you know? What's going on, playa? A little bit of a, little bit of a sighting there. I should have opened the window, had him say something. No, but yeah. If I, if you leave this leg day video with anything, it's try to do a set of squats to failure at least once every leg day. If you don't do squats at all at squats, but even just one set of squats to legit failure, I think that can totally change the way that a quad lift goes and, you know, how you feel about it. Plus, if you're a dude who is capable of squatting to failure, you're capable of uh, pushing it. You're capable of, you're capable of really fucking pushing it. And, uh, yeah, so squat hard and when you do, use your fucking safeties. That's all I gotta say. That is, uh, that's the last of my little, uh, rant. So let's fucking swerve around that car that's just parked in the middle of the road and go home and eat. I'll freaking see you next time.